check out the drinks they got here. Porch rocker, island coolers, cocktails, huge margaritas. Nice. Maybe one day I'll come back and do some of these margaritas. I am actually buzzing out right now because of the carbs and sugar that are in that bread. Somebody just dropped something. Yeah, Ken. You're totally fucking spacing. You're totally buzzing out over the the carbs and the, the, the sugar that's in the bread. Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Bull. Shit. Do I have to say it any slower for you? Is is that not uh, registering with your, you know, feeble little mind? You're putting on an act. Admit it. And yeah, leave it to Ken to pull out the drink menu and say, Oh yeah, I'm, I, I'm totally coming back because I need to get myself freaking plastered. I love my booze. Win or lose, we drink booze because I'm a drunk. I'm an alcoholic, but I won't admit it. And anyone that points out my alcoholism, I get so pissed off at because they're telling the truth, but I don't want people to know that I'm a goddamn alcoholic. Like seriously, Ken's the type of person that uh, if he was given a bag of friggin' oregano and was told that it was weed and he smoked it or he, or he uh, was given a brownie and was told that it was a pot brownie even though it was a, a normal brownie, he would space out. He would, he would go around saying that he's so high and that he would start petting furry walls and acting like the biggest fool in the world. With Ken, it's all make-believe, it's all made up, it's all in his head, nothing more, nothing less. Like, we, we all saw how he tried to fit in with those young British lads years ago, where they got drunk and Ken got drunk, but then uh, he, he probably wasn't overly drunk, but he did the whole British penis! British! Because Ken desperately wants to fit in with the younger crowd. He doesn't want to act his age. He doesn't want to be a normal human being. He just has to, to, to act out and make everybody think that, think that he is cooler than he really is. It's, it's kind of sad. I'm like, loopy. Fantastic. Water. Thank you. Sure. Can, can I try it with butter? Like a little thing of butter? Yeah, of Thanks. As usual, Ken forgets the magic word. Please. He never says please. It's always, can I get something? He'll usually say thanks, but rarely does he say please. Such an impolite jackass. Well, that smells really good. And check this out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm using the lemon. Squeeze, drizzle, uh-oh, seed. Just lame, so I just like that salty, sweet texture, you know what I mean? Me too. Okay. Squeeze some more. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I'll get that seed out of there in a second. I'm gonna try one as it is. Oh, very nice. Nice and savory, beautifully grilled. Of course, you got that lemon flavor. I'm gonna try their sauce. This is a definite must try. It's only $7.99. $7.99 US can. That's approximately around $11 Canadian based on the current exchange rate. Most people might not have that sort of money that you get from YouTube or that you get your, you know, loyal indoctrinated viewers to constantly donate and send to you. People have uh, incomes that are far less than yours or they don't have a wealthy wife 
that they can uh, mooch off of. $2 per shrimp? Doesn't seem like such a great deal to me. Same bun, grilled. It looks like it's buttered. You sure that the bun was grilled? It looked kind of soggy to me. Uh, it was probably just the grill uh, spices that uh, were left by the shrimp on the, the bread. Buttered and grilled. Of course there's lemon on it. Which is changing it up a little bit. The shrimp are very tender. Succulent. Succulent and uh, savory are the only two words that Ken has uh, for uh, describing shrimp. It's kind of p pathetic, Ken. Perhaps you should invest in a dictionary or a thesaurus. The garlicky, I'd definitely order that again. And the sauce is brilliant. It's got like a spicy, peppery bite to it. Very nice. I definitely recommend squeezing the lemon all over it and dipping it heavily in that sauce. Oh my gosh, they're what? fantastic. And what do you guys call this sauce? This is the garlic butter. Garlic that butter? We also make and it's spicy. Yeah, yeah. we make it, um, like they put all the ingredients in together and we churn it just like, yeah, we make everything in the house. Awesome, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm glad I ordered that. What was that? I'm glad I ordered that, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I wanna try one more bun. Yeah, I do not look forward to standing on the scale after this trip. Yeah, considering that will be the third and a half bun that you have consumed so far. Yep, that's why you're gonna put all the weight back on, Ken, because you have zero self-control. You could have just had one bun, but nope, you had to have three and a half. I think I'm gonna be doing about seven videos for you guys on this trip. What's that, Ken? Wasn't this trip supposed to be about you going to visit your super fan Ryan because he was uh, sick and was going to be having a surgery soon. That's what you said in one of your videos, but clearly he was second fiddle to you making videos to enrich yourself. Meanwhile, after you got home, you complained about how you don't understand how how filming a bunch of videos in Florida uh, wouldn't do so well. That. The first one did okay, but then each each subsequent video was less and less views, and you don't understand why that is, because, Ken, you don't understand how YouTube works. I'm also going to ask, Ken, did you have per permits to be able to film in the state of Florida, or in America in general? You already admitted that you didn't, and that you didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that, that's not uh, legal. I'm going to point that out to the uh, American um, uh, agency that oversees that sort of thing so that you're on their radar. Do you like apples? How do you like them apples? <laughs> now, how do you like them apples? I don't like the sound of them apples, Will. What are we gonna do? Jackie? Yeah? It's hunting season. Applesauce. How you like them apples? Fuck. <laughs> so she recommended butter, just straight up. We're gonna load her up. Oh, it's a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I need those extra calories, people. I need to put on all that weight that I lost in the month of January. Don't you know that I need to be 230 pounds? Because if I'm not, then people call me a fat ass. 
and they play foghorns when 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 I'm wearing extra loose clothing to try and hide my gut. Let's see if she's correct. Yep. This is what he always does. He he says, "Let's see if somebody's correct." He takes a bite and immediately, almost immediately, is yep. They were right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the best thing I've ever had. Totally right. He doesn't even allow time for his taste buds to register what he is experiencing. He just has to immediately agree with what whatever it is. So he's already had his mind predetermined for him before he even took the bite. So it was pointless to go through the motions. This just proves how fake everything on Ken Domic's channel is. As soon as it hit my tongue, really nice. Like she said, this bun already has a lot of good flavors and stuff. This just adds to it. The other spread's nice too, but again, it turns it almost all of it into a complete dessert. Man, that is so good. I am freaking out on how good these are. Ken, you can quit pandering for the camera. That's all you're doing. I've pointed it out multiple times already in this video. You're putting on a show for your viewers who are so used to it, they're indoctrinated to it, that they just lap it up for whatever reason while the rest of us just cringe at the absurdity that's going on. If there was a Razzie type award for YouTube videos, you would win it year after year after year after year without any doubt in my mind because I have not seen any other YouTuber that puts up the stupidest content that you do. Incredible. That's me. We are waiting on the broccoli, but can I grab you anything in the meantime? I don't believe so. Thank you. Holy shit. Shit is right, Ken. Your channel is shit. That's the first thing you've said all night that's act actually accurate. But yes, I'm well aware that, nope, you're just playing it up for the camera, yet again, hamming it up. Big deal, it's a steak. You've bought bigger steaks at home. Remember when you spent a crazy, ridiculous amount on a tomahawk steak? Because uh, you're one of those suckers that uh, will pay through the roof per pound for something that is just basically a giant ass bone. It's all show. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, you're the sucker that's born every day that will uh, buy crap like that. <laughs> 23 ounces of beef. So wrong, you forget that that 23 ounces also includes the weight of the bone. So you're not getting 23 ounces of beef, moron. Check out that porterhouse T-bone. Nice and charred on the edge there. Look at that juiciness. And we smothered it in onions and mushrooms. That looks fantastic. Can't wait for the broccoli. It's time to feed. Let's see if they did a good job. Oh, not bad. Check that out, guys. Pink in the center. I prefer it to be a little less done than that. That's, that's uh, not bad. Let's go back to the keg video during Carnivore when Ken was trying to order a medium rare steak and saying that he, you know, wanted it more on the rare side if that was a thing and then doing his fake little laugh with the with the server. But then when he gets the steak, he then starts to explain his reasoning for how he orders it and what he likes and doesn't like and he completely screws it up. Uh, so, so let's go to the video. Okay, I'll do the rib steak. Medium rare, please. And more on the rare than the medium, if that's a thing. 
<laughs> like I don't like rare, but I like, and I don't like medium, I like medium rare, but if I ask for medium rare, it sometimes comes rare, and I don't like that. So he doesn't like rare, but he doesn't like medium, so when he orders medium rare, sometimes it comes rare, and he doesn't like that. That's what he just said. Yet he ordered medium rare and asked for it to be on the rarer side. So what the hell does he like? He just said that he doesn't like it rare, but he asked for the steak to be on the rarer side. And then in, in the, the, this video for Texas Roadhouse, he's clearly not happy and he's being somewhat passive aggressive about it being more on the medium side. Uh, like, it's just unreal. I'm surprised that he didn't touch the center of the steak with his finger like he did in the keg video. Like, that that's not uh, inappropriate uh, to do. There really is no pleasing some people like Ken. Like, he has to be a Karen about everything. It honestly wouldn't shock me if he went around writing off every little expense that he, he can to uh, the Canadian Revenue Agency, but then he also goes around complaining to the management of these establishments to get refunds on all the meals he's had so that he's paying no money, getting the meals for free, and then writing off the money that he didn't spend so he doesn't have to pay taxes on it. That is what I bet you Ken's really doing to be able to live the lifestyle uh, that he has. As Ken would say, let me know in the comments down below if you think I'm right. I think I am. You guys let me know what you think. Of course you will. Got a little mushroom, little steak. Wow. Beautiful barbecued flavor. It's got the hash marks on it. Dip it through the sauce, the juices. That is phenomenal, man. It's phenomenally phenomenal, people. What I'm hoping for is as I get closer to the bone, it gets a little more rare. Now, would you like a porterhouse or a ribeye? Porterhouse is good, man. Everything come out okay? Oh, fantastic. Oh, look at that. All dripping with wonderfulness. I definitely picked the right place to eat today. The flavors of the mushroom and onion are just amazing. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. You're very welcome. There are two sides of steamed broccoli. A superfood. Let's just dump those on here. There we go. One. Two. I believe this side of the porterhouse is the New York Strip, and this side is the tenderloin. Oy vey. If Ken by now does not know the difference between a strip and a tenderloin or filet when it comes to a t-bone or a porterhouse then god help him it's kind of obvious ken you're you're asking it or, or phrasing it as if it's like you're questioning yourself when you know, but you just want to make it seem like you're a dum-dum for some reason. Like, why is it that you want to portray yourself as being a doofus? Let's dig into that. Oh, yeah. A bit too big. A bit too big. Let's get some mushrooms. Piece of onion. First veggie in a while. Hey, doofus. You've just been eating onions. Onions are a vegetable. Doofus. I love broccoli. It's good for you. Vile <laughs> <laughs> weed! Please, someone!
blood and he mustard. Killer heart. Turn your mouth closed. <laughs> Excuse me. Chew with your mouth closed. Thank you. Uh, chew with your mouth closed. <laughs> Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just. You know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> I'm not sure what else they've done to it, but it's uh, kind of salty. It is very steamed. It's falling apart. Tasty. I think I'd prefer it to be uh, like just steamed, nothing else. Just trying to cut it on that bone. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Look at that juicy piece of tenderloin. Is your mouth watering or what? Look at this. Flop. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh my God. That's way better than that side. So tender. It is almost melting in my mouth. Oh yeah, it was funny. This side was done more than this side. This is perfect. I'm so close to being stuffed. Then why don't you stop eating if you're satiated? That's what you said during carnivore, that you would only eat until you were satiated, that you weren't gonna stuff yourself. Well, you're stuffing yourself clearly. That's why you're regaining all the weight and then blaming it on the, your YouTube job. Yeah, no, it's the fact that you have zero compulsion to uh, put the fork down, as they'd say. And like I was hoping, the closer I got to the bone, the more rare it got. <laughs> Way more juicier. I might have to take a time out. I also did a 10 kilometer walk today. So at the moment I've burned uh, 892 calories so far today. Yes, Ken, please give us your daily fitness uh, report because you're trying to pass yourself off as some sort of health guru now when you're the furthest thing from it. I don't know anybody that uh, works out and then goes and gorges himself multiple times a week on fast food and calls it carnivore or even healthy eating but again where's the proof oh you look at your watch to what check the time or check to see how many calories you burn yeah just because you spit out a number with zero proof to back up what you're claiming doesn't mean that you actually did it which is more than usual which is good because i knew i was going to be eating something like this Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what? You got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to polish the rest of this off, pay the bill, and then we'll hit the uh, stealth camper, set it up, excuse me, and then go to bed. Maybe watch a movie. I don't know. All right, guys. I am all done. They've got this little computerized thing shows you how much so there's your total 49.23 us and you can check your details so you make sure your shrimps there your porterhouse smothered pay in full i will add a 20 percent tip it really annoys me how much of a cheap tipper ken tends to be he likes to use the percentage 
because then he's not compelled to tip more than he really has to. So he feels that 20% is the sufficient amount, which in this case, that worked out to $9.85. He couldn't be nice and give, give the really nice server like 20 bucks. Oh, what? Because that's $20 US, so that was going to cost him, like, what, 30 Canadian? Like, Ken, you are cheap. You have plenty of money, but you, you can't give a, a really nice server who went above and beyond for you, answered all your questions, gave you suggestions, brought you extra stuff that you asked for without saying please, and, y yeah, you can't even give her... 10 bucks, let alone 20? Yeah, okay, Ken, you're really generous. Uh, all done. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Well, you didn't polish off your plate uh, and show it to us like you usually do, but baby all done, baby all done, baby all done. Ken is a baby and he's all done his food. Thanks again. You have a great rest of your night. Thank you, you too. So much. They're so nice here too. This place is awesome. The parking lot's getting much more empty. There's Sam's Club. Uh, I, I just kind of had to make sure this is going to be a safe spot to park tonight. It looks like it will be. I'm with them. No, I'm fine. A couple hard sniffs and a spit and I'll be good. Okay. Okay, that's a no-go. Just put me on a blanket and slide me to the TV. As usual, Ken is completely winded just walking out of the restaurant and to his vehicle. Yep, you really, you really have that endurance uh, from all that walking and biking that you claim to do, Ken. I'm just going to get in the driver's seat. It's a little less conspicuous. I was thinking of parking right beside this guy here. It looked like one of the working vehicles, maybe. Definitely going to plug in my electric blankets quickly. Get that going because I definitely don't want to be cold. AC is on. Let's go for medium. Computer bag out of my way. This will be a medium too. Just getting all the footage off my cameras into the computer and just looked up and it is just three degrees. So I'm gonna kick on the heater for a little bit just to get the chill out of the air you've got ignition just want a little propane propane time to start tough game so i just want a little propane 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 it's time to start the game Propane, propane. Time to start Mr. the Lee? game. Propane, propane. Leahy, you're peeing yourself. Propane, propane. Here you go, Jim. Propane, propane. propane. There you go. Base propane, propane. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. Propane, propane. propane. Go, baby, go. Oh. That's better. Just need a little of heat and I'll shut it off in about 15 minutes. It feels so much better. Isn't this just like the most uh, sad looking footage ever? It's an old man, like a nearly 60 year old man, sitting in the dark of a crappy stealth van that he's 
pretty much ruined. Um, working on his laptop with a little propane heater going to keep him warm. And he thinks that that's just like such homely entertainment for his vlog channel. Or sorry, this isn't his vlog channel. This is his main channel. He thinks that's great for his main channel. It's not even good for the vlog channel. Jeez. Sorry, I completely uh, forgot that this is a main video, not a vlog channel video. Oh my goodness, that's even worse. This angle right here is known as the the Paul uh, the Paul angle. Ooh, I think we all get the the uh, the reference, right? I, I don't have to spell it out for you. The heater got it up to eight point seven degrees, which is great. So that's all I need. Just enough heat in here to hit the hay. And not worry about it. Definitely always take your tank off. I'm gonna put that right on the ground. Yeah, just take your tank off and uh, just toss it willy-nilly upside down as you please. That that's not dangerous at all. No, that's that's perfect. Nothing nothing will happen. You know, it's not dangerous to do that, right? Yeah, it just shows you how careless he is with his things and why everything always falls apart on him and then he gets all passive aggressive and and angry about it that cool down maybe move it away from my stuff a little bit more all right it is 10 20 time to watch movie on tiktok i saw like a little movie clip of jason stanoff who in the freaking hell is Jason Stanoff. It's like he took Jason Statham, who he's referring to, and mixed it or intertwined it with Thanos. Or Thanos. Yeah, Ken, you are such uh, a smart individual that you can't even think of the actor's name after you saw a TikTok. I'm a TikTok. I'm a TikTok. Yeah, he has to act all cool that he goes on TikTok and he sees a TikTok and that gave him the idea to watch a Jason Stanoff or whatever the hell he was going for there movie called uh, Beekeeper. It's actually The Beekeeper. But yeah, for someone that has no time, he sure does watch a lot of TikTok and a lot of movies, right, everybody? He doesn't have time to make a two-minute phone call to do any sort of research for restaurants that he wants to go to, but he has, you know, two hours to waste on watching movies. And he was in a movie, or is in a movie, called Beekeeper, and it looked really good. So I think I'm gonna watch that tonight. Was there anybody who suggested that in the comments below? Thanks for all the suggestions of the movies that you guys want me to watch. I have taken them all into consideration. And you'll have to wait and see whose movie choices I will choose next. Here's some friendly advice, Ken. Don't get into trying to be a movie reviewer on YouTube or making that something that your channel is going to try and exploit because you are garbage you can't even think of the actor's name you know when you were talking about justin long in another video you're acting like young kids nowadays wouldn't know who the hell he is and that but only people uh like yourself that have been around for a while would know him what because and then you use the example because he was in some apple versus you know like the, the mac versus pc commercials that's what you know him from? I bet you couldn't name five movies or television shows that he was a part of. Mm. 
nice and warm once again. Like this pillow up against that door kind of keeps the cold from my head. Touch gooseneck lighting. Very warm. Nice. Okay, Jason, entertain me. Looks like I can't watch it here in the United States. I totally forgot about that. I should have downloaded it just for this trip. Hmm. I'll have to find something else to watch. Well, decided to watch Running Man, another Arnold movie. Love every single Arnold movie out there, so let's watch that. Oh, good, I can watch it. I bet you Ken doesn't understand the themes of that movie, the subtext in the plot. He's probably uh, a fan of Richard, um, not Richard Dreyfus, Richard Dawson, uh, you know, the, the villain. He, he seems to resonate with the villains of movies. I was worried that it wouldn't be able to watch these in the uh, United States. Da, 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 da. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the running man. If you haven't seen this movie, it's awesome. Check it out. Highly recommend it. So it's 1035. Should be done just after 12, I'm guessing. And the obligatory B-roll footage of the outside of the van to prove that he slept there all night. Yep. Typical Ken. Movie's over and it is 12.40 a.m. I got to get up at uh, 7, 7.30 and then head to the airport. Uh, this is going to be a three-day, six to seven video series. I hope you guys hang out for all seven videos. Looks like Ken didn't get his wish. Because <laughs> he was already complaining about how the viewership has fallen off with each subsequent video that he's released and he still has a couple more to go uh tomorrow i'm going to the buffalo airport and then i'm flying to uh fort lauderdale so we'll be hanging out in the airport trying some of the restaurants or trying at least one of the restaurants and uh we'll see you in the next video thanks for hanging out with me gotta go to bed I'm really tired still full from that steak and it was awesome Next time you see a Texas Roadhouse, stop by, grab yourself a Porterhouse T-Bone because it was freaking awesome. Yep, because everybody can afford to spend $35 just for the, the steak that you got, Ken. And for Canadians, that's $35 US dollars, which is like, uh, what, around 50-ish Canadian? Maybe, you know, I might be going a bit too high there. For some people, Ken, in Canada, that is a week's worth of groceries nowadays. I don't think you understand that. You do not resonate with the, the living poor in this uh, country. Well, this was another typical Ken video. Beginning his, you know, trip of making several videos at airports uh, in the southern U.S., he doesn't get what people want to see or what people find to be interesting uh, content on YouTube, especially in the food niche that he still tries to cling to so desperately. If Ken had any common sense whatsoever, he would just give it up, but he doesn't want to uh, get rid of the, the gravy train that he wants to continue to ride until it falls apart. Uh, the problem is, it's already fallen apart. He smacked it into the side of the mountain so many times already that it's, uh, that it's a lost cause. He refuses to make any changes. He just goes around stealing ideas, 
hoping that they'll pan out for him. They don't. He complains about it. And then he moves on to the next one uh, within a month's time. And that same, you know, the, that same concept of picking a new fad just doesn't work. And he moves on to the next and the next and the next. Like, I'm sort of feeling like a bit of a broken record because every video is the same. It's just a different place or a different location, but it's the same Ken doing the same stuff. And if we don't react to it, then he gets away with it and thinks, huh, well, they didn't react to it this time, so, so what's wrong with it? Ken is just oblivious to, to it all. He's narcissistic. He's a sociopath. He has zero empathy towards anyone. He gets passive aggressive at the employees if he doesn't get his way or if something isn't done to the specifications that he wants. At any rate, if you enjoyed yet another expose on Ken, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. If you dislike it, hit that button. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, I really hope that I've earned uh, your consideration to, to hit that button. But until next time, this is KDDE signing out. Have a good one and be well. Kendomic Dissemination Exposé channel would like to take a moment to thank our wonderful KDDE community builders. Without your support, this channel would not be able to grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you.